Here they come! Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Take your time. You need help, just give a yell. A, a metaphorical yell. If you yell for reals, you're liable to spook them. Damage to navigation systems detected. Attempting to return to designated repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. On account of I fixed him. And he's Jeremy on account of his helmet. It's like Jeremy, the officer in True Romantic Tales of the Space Guard. Hebsa Shirley. I make a point to watch every Tuesday night. Be more careful out there, Jeremy!
Clever.
Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Much obliged. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball, cast on the wind and alighting on fresh soil, we put down new roots. It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that 
Sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Well, if it's all the same to you, then you ought to divert power over to us, shut down Reed's cannery, and scrap it for parts. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it, he's counting on it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Come <laughs> on. 